That's Mega Man X7 done and dusted. We've got some time. Let's have a look at the museum for this particular game. Um, product gallery. That's always fun. Uh, let's just go and look at some... Let's at the very least look at some, like, concept art. I'll go back and look at the ones for X1 through to 4, maybe maybe for the uh, supplemental shit. But yeah, let's have a look. We've got some X5 stuff. Hide guide. Oh, actually, I need the guide for a sec. Uh, zoom into that shit. Look, it's uh, kind of... Kind of pixely once you get there, though. Um, oh, also, it's not widescreen, so yeah, let's keep it at that. Previous, next, hide guide. Yep, that should be easy enough. So there we go, we've got some photomographs. Sigma's got his wolf again for some reason. There we go. Oh, no, this is like some Mega Man X stuff right here. That's X2 with the X Hunters. So, not sure why we're seeing, like, X1 stuff. Not sure. Oh, well. Cause that's that's definitely well that's probably X well that might be X one yeah that, that's probably his his uh, his armor there for that game. Um, that's oh that's double from X four isn't it when he transforms we haven't seen double yet because I haven't done an X run of X four yet. Wiki says India oh okay <laughs> that's where the internet is that makes sense. There's Colonel we're stopping the coop now. There we go oh we also have story stuff. Story stuff, and all the characters. X-Zero, Cygnus, Waifu, Douglas, who is, he's just gone now. Dynamo, Lifesaver, Crescent Gris Grizzly, Vault Kraken. Oh, this is X-5 stuff now, yeah. Shining Firefly, Tidal Whale, Spiral Pegasus. I, I'm glad they kept the, uh... Glad they uh, kept the original names, holy shit. So this is all X-4 stuff, even though there was, like, some... Oh, there's Best Girl. This is Best Girl, who's dead now. Why is she here? Oh yeah, because she's in Zero's ending, I guess. Yeah, that's the image, it's just not all red. Okay. There we go, we got Aelia being Aelia, and, which is annoying most of the time. Lifesaver, who has multiple versions of himself? Okay. And then we got all these guys. Oh god. Yeah, there's a lot to go through, isn't there? Oh my goodness. Oh, there's Ride Arm, he's so small. So I'll fuck you up! <laughs> There's the, uh, the bike as well, which is fine. I didn't mind the bike level even in X5, at least it's short. There we go. Do, do, do. So many pictures and stuff. Yeah, I'll probably sift through this for supplemental material, honestly, because there's a lot. Um, so let's just stick with X7, I guess. There we go, we've got some postery things. Um, there we go. Story things. There are our characters. I think I have that poster. I have a lot of these fucking posters. I have that one too. Although you can't buy them anymore. They just used to just print them as like photo print to poster paper. And right now I'm looking at zero from probably X8, I think. I'm not sure where it's from exactly. And then there's X, I think from X5 over to my left there. There's Waifu, uh, Red, Flame Hyenard, who's, you know, the way that he is. Yeah, so yeah, confirmed Vanishing Gungaroo is not the uh, entire thing with the mech and everything. It's just the little guy there. It's Ride Borski, the Swedish German Onion, Splash Warflies, a Dickhead, Snipe Anteater, St Soldier Co uh, Stone Kong, Wind Crow Rang. There's X. He's <laughs> holding out a hand as if to say, hey, do you want to join the X Hunters? You get to destroy robots and shit. Oh. There he's running. Oh, there's his uh, completed glide armor, I guess. This <laughs> is Zero looking very unamused. I mean, that's just him in a nutshell, really, isn't it? Uh, oh, there's a headshot of Axel. We've got some Cygnus there, some some Aelia. This is an interesting shot. I wonder why that was never used. Um, we also have some nice close-up shots um, of the uh, some mid shots of the of all of the Mavericks as well. That's not bad. There we go. Ooh, not bad. I mean, the uh, the, the Anteater, I mean, you know, it's mostly just arms and head. And for Stone Kong, it's just his face, really. It's just too big. Oh, shit. No, that's going a bit too far. Crow Rang, who's... Oh, I didn't even realise he has a fucking gem in the top of his head. We have Red, of course, who um I didn't even mention only has one eye as well. Looks like he uh, sustained a bit of damage there. There's the Professor, quote-unquote. Um... Some more Axel stuff. Oh, that's some blurry, blurry shit there. Very nice, though. I like it. There's the glide armor there. You get a better look of it there. So this is just full-on concept art stuff now. Oh, Axel looked kind of different for a while. 
That's closer to his final design, I would say. But yeah, he, he went through a lot of fucking changes. Looks like apparently also he had, like, instead of a scar on his face, like he has it there, but instead they gave him, like, the, the crack on the helmet instead, which I guess they gave to Red eventually. Maybe originally he wasn't going to have, like, two eyes, I don't know. Yeah, a lot of, like, concept art with da damaged helmet. Very interesting. Okay. There's Heinard. These burny fingers and everything. My god. Gunguru there with all kinds of shit going on there. Apparently, maybe shot out his fingers. I don't know. I don't remember that being the thing. And then, of course, we have the right armor version. Borski is pretty dull for the most part. Tunyon, who falls apart. <laughs> it just come, comes to bits. Warfly, who's... Yeah, it's pretty standard for the most part. Uh, we've got... Uh, We've got the Anteater, yeah, the internet Anteater who has all the lolly porn at his disposal. His tug's so fucking weird though, he's got like a, it's like a flowery thing, but also like a little pokey bit at the end. Huh. Stone Kong is there, he's pretty standard really, yeah, it's, uh, although it looks like his shield would have, may have also been a star at some point. I'm not sure, I don't remember it being a star in the finish game. Crow Rang is pretty standard. Red's got some stuff going on. He's got like a he's got like a dual scythe weapon, kind of interdasting. Also, uh, don't know what all that means. There's like the L and the smiley face. <laughs> I can't read Japanese, yo. And there's uh, the Professor Sigma with his giant laser gun, and also that gun as well. Um, does he change when he's like flying? Oh yeah, there's his like devil devil horn helmet, which apparently came in a series of different colors. That's not bad. There's, oh my god, oh, and originally it's like full on like Japanese demon thing. That's cool. There we go. And then we have that guy. And as you can see, smoking a cigar in the Japanese version uh, during his only appearance in the opening FMV, uh, he does smoke a cigar, but they got rid of it for the American and European release because uh, smoking's bad, kids. Apparently. Uh, we got this fucker here. I think that's the little monkey guy, maybe. That's just these generic, generic enemies now. There's the. The weird ass fucking horse that High Art rides on. I mean, it's just, it's just a creepy ass fucking horse thing. Uh, we got this guy. He's from the first game, but they brought him back for this one. Uh, got these little, these little fuckers. I don't remember seeing these guys. The, the, uh, the little uh, boar riders, which you only see in the first of the uh, fortress levels. Uh, oh, we got the little, uh, we got the little traffic cone uh, me tool, which only appears in the uh, the highway, the highway areas. We have this guy at the beginning as well, uh, who Axel transformed into. Um, got the dragon bastards. Oh, we got the bird motherfucker who just appears real briefly outside of the uh, the airship. Um, we got the electrical guys. Don't like them. They're like Tesla coil bastards. Don't like them. There's the little monkey guy. Kind of terrifying when you see him like that. Kind of fucking terrifying. There we go. This is a bit of a worry. We have uh, Sigma's Wolf, which he made several copies of, uh, both blue ver and purple variant and red variant. Uh, got those walkie guys. Oh, we got the samurai motherfuckers. Apparently, they used to come in a very, uh, uh, very uh, varying degree of different colors. I think that's the one they ended up with, right? Also, scorpion bastard. Another me tool. Oh, apparently, me tools could do a whole bunch of crazy shit back then. There's the grinder guy. Uh, looks like he's yeah, pretty standard. Yeah, and then that's him without his grinder on. We have the crab bastard boss in uh, Tornado Tunyon's level. Uh, these fucking things. Um, oh no, wait, that's the burb from uh, the uh, this, the the uh, ship from the the ship. Yeah, the aircraft carrier. This is what they ended up with, right? And then yeah, this is him without guns, I guess. And then we got these fucking things. Yeah, that's the actual ship itself, the airship. Um, and these fucking planes. Hmm, ride bike. Yeah, no, we did get to do that on the Ride Borski's uh, level. I was gonna say, like, did they cancel that? No, they didn't. There we go, there we got MVP uh, Drill Robot. Very nice. And we got the one with the shooty arm as well. We're gonna get a look at uh, Axel's gun as it was being designed. Apparently they were gonna go for a revolver and then the one with, like, the... Looks like the, the cylinder was, like... I oh, know it's like lying flat horizontally. That's interesting. Um, and also the variants as well, like the grenade launcher and the the ray gun and all that. There's the final ray gun, I think. Um, we got some other like oh swords for zero, I guess. 
They only ended up using the glaive, I think. I don't think he got anything else. Those swords, I don't think I recognize them. We've got some missile things, a gun there. There's Sigma's laser blaster. And there's, yeah, the double scythe, which is like the, the most impractical weapon to use. You'd just be fucking yourself up more than anything. But uh, Red used it, I guess. Oh, we're back to the beginning again. So there you go, there's that. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can go over at some later point, I think. But, uh... Should we look at some action figures and shit? Why the hell not? Here we go. Uh, Mega Man... Oh, Mega Armor Mega Man X. By category. Okay, let's look at action figures. See if I've got any. Um, oh, we don't get a good look at them, unfortunately. Let's see. 1996 Mega Armor Mega Man X. Looks pretty good. Um, we've got some Mega Armor. Mega Man X frame set. Oh, it's like a model-y thing. Okay. Okay, Mega Armor's Iron, uh, Iron Buster. Looks a bit odd, but uh, yeah, I mean, he's, like, his extremities are way too big, and his helmet also way too big. <laughs> More modelly things. This is the X3 Max Armor. Uh, and the Hyper Special. Is this meant to be the gold armor, I guess? Looks kind of gold, yeah. Hyper Special set for the Mega Man Armor series. Out of production as of 2018. Sad face. Same for all of these, by the look of it. Uh... System up, armor series, frost shield, clear blue. Uh, yeah. Same thing, really, isn't it? Just different colors, maybe? Uh, spinning blade red. Oh, this is for parasitic bomb. This is for frost shield. Yeah, this is the X3 stuff. Spinning blade, tornado fang. So that's the greeny one. Um, oh, and then we got uh, Maverick Hunter Zero as well. We got a Zero figurine as well. And we got bit armor. Huh, X3 bit armor. So it's like bit from X3, but it's for X. I'm very confused. Here we go. We also have uh, these, uh, what's this now? Uh, Mega Man X double impact. Just some stuff. The special double impact set from the Mega Mega Armor series featuring X and Zero with multiple armor types. Not bad. Mega Armor, Mega Man X3 ride armor. Ooh, the Chimera and Hawk. So it can turn into the Hawk. Yeah, because they're kind of the same really, aren't they? Uh, Mega Armor, so that's just X and Zero, really. Although they seem to have slightly different armor, yeah. Haven't spotted anything I have so far. R-I-X, don't know what that is. I think you're just making shit up now. Limited Special Edition Main Frame. Oh yeah, he hasn't got any armor on at all, at all now. Okay. We've got the Special Limited Edition Clear Armor. Oh, okay, here's the back of them. Okay, I didn't even see that. Just the back of the box, though, really. Triad Thunder, clear blue. That's some things. Should we be glad they hadn't thought of RFID and tying these toys into progress in the games? Oh, God, yeah. Thank God. But who knows what the future holds. I don't know anything about X-Dive. Did they do anything that for that for X-Dive? They might have, and I wouldn't know. Okay, clear armor, all that stuff. Oh, here we're getting some nice stuff here. Chozuke, Damashi, Mega Man X... And, and also Zero as well. 11 part action figure series. Reproduce the characters in fine detail and vibrant colors. Out of production as of 2018. Okay, not bad though. Oh, look at that. He's <laughs> a little original rock man. That's really good. Oh dear, you can collect them all. Ah, here we go. Is this the one I have? Yes, this is the one I have. I've got this. I wonder if I've got a photo to that effect. Because I might not. Um, let's see if I've actually got that. I might have a photo of it somewhere. Yay, because we're not playing a game, I can just uh, click out of the window now. That's handy. Uh, let me just see if I've actually got this. I'm gonna try and compare it, why not? Uh, let's have a look. Camera, maybe it's in old phone images, it might be. Oh god, now I have to sift through all the cat photos. I've got so many old cat pictures, look at this. So many old cat pictures, ridiculous. <laughs> She dead now, unfortunately. She died last year, but that's okay. I've got a new cat now, and this one is a nice cat. I've got plenty of pictures of her. It's all fine. Um, also got Masamus as well. Where's Masamus at? Um, doo -doo -doo. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's action figures from all games. Great. But I'm sure I have a picture of this. Sleepy cat. Okay. Sleepy cat. <laughs> Just having a sip. Um... Oh my god, now that's a sleepy cat. That's a sleepy cat. Let's turn into cat pictures. Look at that, that's a sleepy cat. <laughs> oh dear. 
Oh, there she is sleeping in her bed. Hello. Alright. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. I gotta find the pictures I'm, I'm talking about. Uh, ah, here we go. Um, don't know if it's visible here, but we'll have a look. Let's have a look. That's a lot of Final Fantasy, though. No, it doesn't look like it, actually. That's a completely different area. What about this shelf, though? Oh, those are the, uh, original American Final Fantasy figurines, so no, unfortunately not. Um, don't know if I have a picture of it. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Oh, look, it's me as Pikachu. It's me as a Pokemon card. <laughs> Pikachu! Oh, Christ almighty. That was Pax. Oh shit, there's me running away from Pac-Man. Help! I'm gonna get fucking gobbled, goddammit! <laughs> oh god, where is this? Surely I have a photo of this, somewhere. Just just like, a, a, just to show how funny it is, because he's basically just right by Sailor Moon right now. It's just, just like, crying, and he's like, Why are you crying about your stupid wife, -o? Um... Do, 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 do. Cannot find it. Hmm, I guess I might not have it after all? Oh well, that's a pity. I will take pictures of it before the next stream, then. I'll do that. Just a quick peek and see if I've got any... No, probably not. Alright. Very well. I'm pretty sure this is the one I've got, though. I'm fairly certain this is the uh, action figure I have. Um, oh, it's D-Arts. Yeah, they actually tell you. So, yeah, this is the one I have. I don't remember the box at all. <laughs> I obviously took it out, because fuck it. <laughs> yeah, it's got the buster shots and the full-powered shot. Yeah, this is the one I have. There we go. He's kind of looking like that right now, or at least Sailor Moon is freaking him out a bit. What else have we got? Um, I don't have this one, but I would like it. Um, let's see. A great posing technology of D-Arts figures with exchangeable hand and buster effect parts. Compatible with the previous D-Arts X and Zero armor parts, a rare example of the first armor as a toy. Don't have this, but I would like it. I mean, it's good. It's the full armor from uh, the first game. Um, what's this? Comic version, I don't have this. Oh, it's him from the comic version. Oh my god, it's got like the blood and everything, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I do not have this one, but it's interesting. <laughs> okay, now I also have this one as well. Wait, no, I don't have this one because this is the first zero. This is the one from the first game. So yeah, I don't have this one, but I would also like this one too. Figure reproduce Zero's original armor from X1. His hair was joined in two places for easy posing. Yeah, for some reason it's got like a pivot on his ponytail so you can actually sort of like bend it. It's kind of weird so he can like look upward properly. So many figurines, I know. We've only just scratched the surface. What was this one? A figure reproduced the, the way that X was reimagined in the comic book series. Out of production as of, 20, as of 2018. Sad face. At least you can get the other ones by look of it. Oh, out of production of 2018. Looks like I'll have to spend a shit ton of money on eBay, I guess. Oh god, that's not a good sign. Um, here's the one I have. This one's not out of production either. God, why do I have the ones that are actually in production? Shit. So yeah, this is the other one I have. Uh, the one with the beam saber. Powered up version of Zero Scene and X2 onward featured three saber blades for different poses. Yeah, he has like a bendy one like that. Uh, right now, he's actually just looking like that. <laughs> he's not really doing much. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely the one I have right now. I'll take some photos of it. He's got, like, different heads, too, like Angry Face. He's got that, too. Uh, Vile. I should have gotten Vile. Uh, s some images show the prototype out of production as of 2018. The Vile featured uh, shoulder cannons, a knee cannon, and the glass from his iconic comic appearance. Don't remember that, either. But... Yeah, you got that too, and out of production, so I'm going to be paying out my ass while that. Oh, uh, this is the ultimate armor. I uh, don't know from which one though, because X X did not have ultimate armor in the first game. Featured clearer outer armor, revealing the internal structure underneath. Possible for all kinds of actions. Images may not be representative of the final product. Because yeah, I I don't think this was out when this was first released. Actually, the uh, yeah the Legacy Collection came out before they put this one out, so. Yeah, would like to get it though, it's pretty cool looking. <laughs> but which game is it from? I'm assuming it's X4, but... Because it doesn't look like anything from X1, 2 or 3. X4... Possibly? It's probably not X6, because... That's just all black. Could be X5 or X4, I don't know which one. Oh yeah, and we didn't get any ultimate armor in the X7 at all. Sad face, I missed them. Uh, yeah, not bad. 
Uh, oh, I'd love Black Zero though, he's got a purple saber. In addition to the black armor, this uh, set included an all new face for a different, uh, and a different saber color. Uh, some images show the prototype out of production as of 2018, fuck! There we go, yeah, he's got an angry Zero face as well. He's got the uh, muted color to his hair. I kind of really want that. Here we, oh, here we got Sigma, shit, I didn't know he got a figure. At long last, a figure of the mightiest Reploid, Sigma. Makes a compelling addition to the D-Art series. Some images show the prototype out of production as 2018. Of course, all the ones I don't have, they're out of fucking production, shit. God, looks like it would cost a fortune though, shit. All right, what else we got here? Gigantic X series, features clear parts of the gems on X's forehead, uh, ears, buster, and soles of feet. Also has multiple face plates. Also fucking huge, I guess. Same thing with Zero, I'm guessing? Yeah, not bad. We got the uh, Tamashi Buddies uh, number 16 Mega Man X. There we go, don't know what that is, but it looks adorable. <laughs> Bandai's action figure expertise packed into a tiny nine centimeter figure. Images may not be representative of the final product, because I guess some of these are like before they were coming out actually. So yeah, Bandai's action figure, same thing with Zero, there we go. Oh, you even get the little background too, look at that. That's great. Little background, that's cool. Let's see. NX Edge style Mega Man Unit X. Okay. That's interesting. Does it like transform or something? Because it's got the little. No, I guess it's just sculpted a, sp a particular way. Okay. Got the same thing for Zero as well. Um, and an arm that can be changed out for Zero's uh, Z Buster as well. Okay. Oh shit, he can like dual wield. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, we got the 4-inch Nell Mega Man X. Uh, features a double joint system for a wider range of posing without bulky joint spalling. X's silhouette can even be posed in a wall jump. I was wondering what was going on with the uh, with the back the back of his uh, his uh, calves there or his uh, shins rather. It's a bit odd, but yeah, it allows him to pose ridiculously like that. <laughs> Yay! And also wall sliding. Fantastic. Uh, he's also got some extra bits and bobs as well. And a stand, which is nice. Let's see. Mega Man X Premium 1-4 scale statue. HMO X Capcom. Capsule base and exposed mechanisms. Uh, some using retro style metal parts make for an ultra realistic look at X. Uh, oh shit, look at that. You can take bits off of him and everything. Oh my god, and apparently he has jets. Is this... No, because he has special armor for for X mission. But uh, when I think like the the uh, back jets, I think of X mission. Okay, he can go without them though. Oh, uh, he can also apparently be red. Jesus! Oh, look at that. That's kawaii as fuck. Nen Nendoroid what? Nendoroid Mega Man X full armor. Look at that shit. That's adorable. <laughs> look at him. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> That's great. Yay! I are Mega Men's. <laughs> fantastic. Oh god, so we've got a full power shot. Oh my- oh no, that's the Hadouken! Look, he's got his little hands out. He can Hadouken, he can shoot shit. And that's his full powered shot, yeah, that's great. Oh, comes with various effect parts and poseable joints for recreating shots, dashes, or even X's unforgettable Hadouken! It's great. <laughs> Mega Man X2 Premium Bandai Limited Edition X Second Armor. But where are the one-to-one -one scale? <laughs> Coming soon, hopefully. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, X equipped with the second armor from X2 features LED lighting to sim simulate the classic double charge shot. Well, that's kind of awesome, actually. Huh. So it actually lights up. That's nice. Oh, look at this. See, I would like this too. Uh, Mega Man X and Zero. This fan favorite scene from the Mega Man X comic series comes to life in this moving X and Zero diorama. Out of production as 2018. Fuck. I want it though. <laughs> I want it though. It's, it's, it's. It's almost Yowie. <laughs> it's almost Yowie. <laughs> this is oh god. Oh, what's this? Shogokan Mega Man X Giga Armor. What's this from though? Oh, revival of the classic Mega Man armor series. This time it's the super powerful Giga Armor that can even transform into a ride chaser. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, you can also turn into this, apparently. <laughs> it's, I don't remember him being able to turn into, like, the Mega Man X uh, rendition of Rush, but okay. Oh, I can turn into this too. What the fuck, man? This is some, like, Power Rangers shit. <laughs> oh, it's Kawaii Zero! Look at him, he's Jimmy and shit. Oh, that's great. Features two face options, the Z-Buster and two interchangeable Saber Blades can recreate dynamic poses such as dashing and jumping. 
Oh, look at him. Oh, so he could have, like, fucking dual-wielding sabers. Holy shit. Oh, look at that. That's fucking awesome. Look at that. He's got his little hair and everything. He's so fucking small. Oh, God, I want it. <laughs> I want it. Uh, oh, I think we're back to the beginning again. Are we? Uh, 2018. At least that one's not out of production. Yeah, I think we're... Yeah, we're back to 96 now, so that's it. But wait, there's more. Holy shit. Next category is... Uh... Bumper. There we go. Oh shit, you can go by category, by date. Uh, there's also capsule toys. Oh my god, I'm just gonna look through all these. Since we've got half an hour left to stream, I might as well. Disc Jack. Mega Man X Special. What is this? Oh, collectible disc sold as capsule toys. Out of production as 2018, of course. Ooh, are they like Pogs? Ooh, I like Pogs. That's pretty good. Oh, is that it? Is that? No, that, no, that's not it. That's more. Let's see. Okay, X3, full color cross. Okay. Five in total sold as capsule toys. I wonder if... No, they probably won't appear in Shenmue, but I would like it if they did. Oh, that's great, though. That's pretty cool. I like the one on the right where X is just like, Hey, everybody, stay in school. <laughs> what else we got here? Mission 2 full color cross? Okay. Okay. Some nice stuff. I don't know what's going on with like, like what's with like the yellow armor shit going on there? That's interesting. Yeah, what's that? That's weird. Yeah, I have no idea. Huh, interesting. All right, and now green armor. This is the, the mission three stuff, okay. But you can't get a better look at this. Can't zoom in on any of this or anything. No, unfortunately not. Mega Man swing, oh, little keychains. You can even get ones from, um, see look, you got Mega Man.exe from, um, from the um, Battle Network series, yeah, that's what it is. Original Me uh, Mega Man, you've got X, and you've also got the uh, helmetless one from uh, Mega Man Legends, as well as the uh, Jello Pudding Monster as well. <laughs> and the yellow one, is that from the original? Yeah, that's from the original X, yeah. The green Jello one was from Mega Man 8, I think. Whatever, whatever one was on the PlayStation. We've got some key rings, there we go. Well, not really, well, not really key rings, no, they're just swings, yeah. There we go, and you can collect them all. Or, yes you can, you can still collect them all. 2015. These ones are out of print since uh, 2018. Oh wait, we're back to the beginning again. We're back to the beginning again. Um, other toys and goods. Let's have a look. Uh, what have we got here? Mega Man X contained a pair of PVC figures, a minifigure, and a Mega Man X card. 10 varieties in total, out of production, great. I want all of these things. Uh, contained a pair of PVC figures. Okay, so this is the uh, X2 variant, I suppose. Yes, and then we got the X3 ones. Okay, not quite sure what these are. They're not. Okay, these don't count as f action figures, apparently. I guess they don't move, so yeah. And they kind of look like capsule toys, but yeah, if they're not found in the capsule, why not? I keep forgetting the bit had a hammer at one point. Oh no, sorry. Uh, no, that is bit. Yeah, bit, and then bites the giant fucker. He, he had more of a sword, though, in the final game, though, didn't he? Oh, well, look at this. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, oh, look at his beam saber. It's blue for some reason. And not painted the uh, hilt of his sword. Tisk tisk. And there's uh, Vile. Yeah, this is from X3. Yeah, definitely. Because he's blue there. And also the fucking, fucking title gave it away. I should have read that first. PVC figure and candy. Oh, you get candy as well. There you go. Delish. I love Japan with its, like, capsule toys and candy. Super Mega Man, Mega Man X3 Part 2, so more stuff. I think that's, I think that's, um, uh, well, th yeah, that's X3, that's gotta be Blast Hornet. Zero X, and also Gold Armor X, you don't see that very often. There we go. That's not bad. Yeah, there's his Gold Armor, nice. Uh, Gummy Mate Mega Man X3. Oh, Mega Man X Gummies? Oh, I kind of want that too. Gummy candy with a PVC figure included. Out of production. Fuck. 66 Action Dash Mega Man. Mega Man characters from multiple series join the ranks of the acclaimed 66 Action Dash series of tiny poseable action figures. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's got all the different X's there. Okay. There you go. That's pretty cute. I like that. <laughs> all of the all of the Mega Mans from all the ages. Electronic Manga Class Special Set Mega Man X3 Buster Battle. I'm curious. Oh, this stuff. Oh! Oh, this looks like it's very Japan exclusive. 
You, you, look, you take one look at that and you think like, oh no, that's got to be something that's only in Japan, man, seriously. Electronic Manga Class Special Set Mega Man X3 Buster Battle. An electronic toy that combines drawing practice and with video games. Used interchangeable software cartridges out of production as of 2018. But, okay, that's interesting. I did not know about that. That's a thing. Very Japan exclusive by the look of it though. Um, X3 Battle Brusher Fight Set. Char X Mega Man X characters released as the fourth installment in the Battle Brusher series. Out of production. Okay. Fairly straightforward, yeah? Oh, but if you look there, you get bit and bite down there below, and he still has a hammer. I guess he does have a hammer, but it's like more like a sword. It's really weird. Okay. Um... Oh, Battle Brusher Ring and Fighter Set. Oh, you get, you get an arena? Oh yeah, you get a fucking ring for it. Uh, set with a battle ring included. Oh my god, look at that. That's great. Get yourself a ring and everything. That's a pity they didn't open these up and just fucking take photos of them there. And also allow us to zoom into the pictures. That would be nice too. Uh, Mega Buster Pencils. Shake the normal attack buster attack caps to attack your opponent. Quote unquote. Reduce their energy to zero to win. I'm horribly confused. This is also very Japan, I think. That's yeah, it's too confusing for my stupid Western brain. Um, Mega Man X Collection, Mega Man X uh, contained a pair of PVC figures, a minifigure, and a Mega Man X card. Ten varieties total. Oh, we're back at the beginning again. So, cards. Oh, see, now we're getting into the cards now. Uh, card Das, or Card Das. <laughs> Mega Man X, uh, 42 card series in the famous Card D Ass collectible card line. Some cards omitted from this gallery, out of production as of 2018. So there's some, oh, there's some Mavericks there. There we go. Launch Octopus, uh, Armin Armadillo, uh, Spark Mandrel, and, uh, of course the old Sting Chameleon. Um, and there are the rest of them. <laughs> there are the rest of them all there. More Reploids. Oh, see, they call them Reploids. They don't even call them Maver Mavericks here on the card. Rep Although they call them Lep uh, uh, Repleroid, because that's what it is in Japan. It's Repleroid, of course. And, yep, yeah, of course, Rockman X for, for Mega Man as well. Um, It says Reploids here in the menu, though, but on the card it says L Repleroid. Um, X versus Sigma. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. X versus Chill Penguin, he's all frozen, he's like, fuck you, <laughs> I'm gonna shit you anyway. We got X versus Spark Mandrel, X versus Armored Armadillo, X versus Launch Octopus, I'd love all these, I mean, look at that background, that's so, that's so Japan, that's, that's Japan Ammonium right there. Oh dear, it's X versus Boomer Kawango. You don't, you don't have your missiles though, you should use your homing missiles, otherwise he'll fuck your shit up. Sting Chameleon, and you're not using his weakness either, oh well. This is just, he's just playing it on hard mode, I guess. There's Storm Eagle. Pretty easy to beat with a buster, though, honestly. These backgrounds are really interesting. It's kind of, this is almost Sonic the Hedgehog here. Which I'll get around to. I'll do all the Sonics, don't worry, I'll do it, it's fine. I'm waiting for the right time. My internet is good enough that I can do a Sonic game without it looking like pixel vomit, so... Uh, we will see it soon. Oh my god, look at the, the flame mammoth oil and everything as well. He's made the ground all oily. There we go. Oh, look at this. Shotgun ice. And it's, it's got, like, a background from the game itself. And it also looks like... They look like screenshots of, like, a TV screen. Like, you can see all the pixels and the scan lines and everything. And also, yeah, it's, it kind of looks low quality. <laughs> they just took photographs of the game on the TV somewhere. So there's shotgun ice, electric spark, rolling shield. What else have we got going on here? Homing torpedo. Nice. Boomerang cutter. Uh, ceasing. I'm trying to figure out where that is. That's like the end of the game, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Chameleon Sting, Storm Tornado, Fire Wave. Oh, look, somebody beat Chill Penguin first. Look at him standing on that frozen lava. There's Sigma, of course. Oh, look, it shows you all these HP and shit. He has 5,000 HP. X and Zero have 1,800. I wonder if that's actually accurate to the game. I don't know. And there's Mega Man X with his bustery thing. Some more Repleroids. Oh, this is from X2, though. I think. We're getting to X2 now? Yeah, 93, 94. Still Repleroids. There's Flamestag taking up a hell of a lot of real estate there. 
Uh, now he's using all the real estate. Fucking uh, Morph Moth now, I think that is. There we go. X versus Sigma again. Bubble Splash. Oh, you can see the big fish asshole there in the background. Spin Wheel. Uh, so we've got Sonic Slicer. Speed Burner. Strike Chain. Crystal Hunter. Just how many cards were there? Jesus Christ. Silk Shot, which turns into a companion cube. <laughs> Magnet Mine. Uh, bubble Crab. Uh, Wheel Gator. Oh my god, now we're getting to the bosses now. Overdrive Ostrich. Flame Stag. Oh, there's Wire Sponge. What a wanker he is. Oh, and look, he is using the cutter against him. That's great. He'll slice him in half. Um, yeah, at least at least X is now using the weaknesses for the for the Mavericks now. That's kind of interesting. He's using the Magnet Mine on the Crystal Snail. Um, flame on the Morph Moth. Yeah, so these, these cards might actually help you out if you don't know what the weaknesses are. I must consult the cards. Magnet Centipede. Yeah, just shoot a fucking block at him. Use the Silk Shot at him. Uh, and there's Agile there with his lightsaber thingy. I guess he had a saber before Zero even did, Jesus Christ. Um, cause yeah, he got his saber, uh, technically he had like a saber or a shot in X2 if you fought him, but didn't officially have until X3 really, didn't he? There's Sergis there as he likes to jump around on his shield. There's Violin with his fucking mace, I hate that thing. There's Sigma and Zero. Oh yeah, there's the evil black Zero. <laughs> Different colored hair though, he has like bluish hair. Interesting. All right, we got I think we're getting, no, it was st I think we're still on uh, the second game now. HP times two. Maybe there was like a game actually involved, like it's not just a collectible card game. Like maybe there was a, like maybe it wasn't just, it wasn't just collectible cards. There was like a, an actual trading card game that you could play, like kind of Pokemon. Only it doesn't make much sense because it's just got HP on it. <laughs> I use one zero against your Splash Warfly. Uh, bunch of Reploids again. So many cards are just bulking them up now. Oh god, now we're getting to X3 territory. There's Vault Catfish. Oh dear, yep. Yep, we're getting to the X3 territory now. Okay, number 89, X versus Sigma again. Only he's now in his giant Kaiser, Kaiser Sigma armor. Parasitic Bomb. Yep, we're going through all of the weapons again now. Frost Shield, Gravity Well, Acid Burst, Triad Thunder, S Blade, Tornado Fang, Ray Splasher. And there's him versus Blast Tournament, who we forget has like fucking eggs in his see through like abdomen area. Like, so it's really fucking creepy. <laughs> it's just got a see through egg sack. Okay, we've got Blizz uh, Bilzard Buffalo, because that's his actual name. Let's be real here. Got Gravity Beetle, Acid Seahorse. Oh, he's not Toxic, toxic Seahorse, he's Acid Seahorse. Okay, interesting. I wonder if they fucked that up in this game when they were with the description, because they call him Acid Seahorse, but he's always been Toxic Seahorse in the game itself, so I don't know. Or maybe he's Acid Seahorse in um, Rockman 3, the Japanese version, maybe, I don't know. X versus Vault Catfish, he's a pain in the fucking ass, and he's still using their weaknesses, so yeah, there's Crushed Crawfish sucking down some Triad Thunder. Tunnel Rhino there, there we go, Neon Tiger. Uh, God, oh, it's God Carmen Machine Oinari, which we had to take on, and he's actually pretty easy. It's Bit and Bite combined together, there's Dr. Doppler, kind of useless. <laughs> Here we go, Mavericks closing in, don't give up X, protect Earth from Sigma. Special cards. There we go. Huh. So you got these kind of interesting little cards there. Sigma looking fucking terrifying, kind of Dr. Robotnik-ish there. Let's see, and what's this now? Uh, evil doers will be punished. Mavericks on the loose. There we go. It's turning into Sailor Moon now. Mega Man and Zero just doing their things. This is 95 though. Dr. Doppler is there again, so this is still in X3 territory. Don't know what he's doing here. This is a limited edition one though, apparently. And here's Wire Sponge L. Why is he all pink though? That's strange. Wire Sponge L, and he looks like full on creepy here. It's a bit weird. Clear Buster. Did he ever have a Clear Buster in the game? I don't know. Here we go. Zero also investigates with the Clear Buster, maybe? No, he doesn't have one. He doesn't get one. He's not cool enough. Boomer Kuwanga L. I'm guessing these are like special ones. Mega Mission. Don't know what that means. So there's different ones there. Boomer Kuwanga L. What? Who's. That's who's the who the fuck is that guy in the background? 
He's got like a... He's wearing like a, a handkerchief. or He's, he's wearing a, like a, a bandana around his mouth. Where the fuck is that meant to be Sigma? Don't know who the fuck that is, but that's not Boomer Kawanga. All right. Flame Mammoth in a different color as well. It's like creepy ghost form. And they're all fucked up and shit. Bubble Crab. Yeah, he's all fucking creepy. What is all this? Who the fuck is Curtis? Uh... Um... Yeah, fuck do I know who Curtis is? Mega Man versus Curtis, who the fuck is that? This doesn't look like anyone I remember from the games. He's got a really impractical, like, skirt thing as well. He's got, like, scissors on his chest, I think is the idea. What's going on there? Who the fuck is Curtis? They don't mention who the fuck Curtis is. Who the fuck is Schmidt? Who are these characters? They don't... Now would have been a good time for an explanation game. There we go, zero data. He's just got it in like a magazine form, apparently. Dr. Doppler again, but who the fuck are... I don't know, I guess that's meant to be Agile and and uh, the other one. Uh, no, uh, Bit and Bite, sorry. Mm. And there's Flame Stag, there's a Super Evil Flame Stag. Who the fuck were Curtis and Schmidt? I kind of want to look this up now. Who the fuck are they? Hang on. Who the fuck are Curtis and Schmidt? Schmidt. Who the fuck are these people? Okay. Oh, here we go. Apparently they've got entries in the in the wiki. Curtis is a burly, tall, mechanical-looking thing. It's one of the insect cha chasers at the partner of Schmidt and a maverick in Rockman X Mega Mission. Okay. What is that game? I've never even heard of that before. It's the first chapter of the Mega Man uh, Mission Kadar series released in 1995 by Bandai, set after the events of Mega Man X2. The side story focuses on X and Zero's first battle against Dr. Doppler and his creation limited. But what kind of game is it though? Is it just a card game? It looks like it is. Yeah, I think this is actually just exclusive to the card game. Okay. That's rather curious. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, first I'm hearing about this now. Anyone else know what the fuck that was? that's about? I don't know. I don't know. Sting Chameleon's now purple as well. Storm Eagle L. Oh shit, he's looking really fucking jacked now. Look at that, he's got like a super buster and everything. We got Wheel Gator who's looking like a proper gator now. Look at that shit. And I guess Zero is dealing with him this time around. There's Schmidt again. Hmm, okay. Look, clear High Buster versus Schmidt. Schmidt is doing a karate chop against Zero's Beam Saver. I don't know what the hell's going on here. But a rare look at uh, uh, what looks like a yellow Beam Saver, but also Zero firing off a, Z a Z Buster shot as well. Okay. Zero defeated. Oh god, he just got bitch slapped. Oh, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> there we go. Another one there. How many of these are there? 95. Oh god, there's like a million to billion of them. 96. Oh god, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. So many cards. Well, at least we learned something new today. Who is Bl uh, Blood I own? I guess another exclusive uh, trading card game character. Same with Luxion. Oh my goodness. Is this very strange? What the fuck is this? Tachyon's Ace in the Hole? Replica cap capture. Uh, Okay, that's a thing. All right, well, there's way too many cards to actually go through. Oh my God, there are a ton. Oh my God, there are so many. Let's see, yeah. It looks like they're all pretty much the same thing. I mean, this is kind of an interesting looking trading card game. Never heard of it before. Okay, we have apparel as well. I mean, we must be nearly done with all this stuff. Yeah, we just got books and apparel and stuff. Mega Man X patches, title logo, X, Zero, Sigma, and Vial. So you can get those sewn on you. Um, I do have the full version of, yeah, the full version of those uh, those first two there of X and Zero. I do have those in poster form, but I wouldn't mind a patch as well. And we got Mega Man X T-shirts as well. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't have that. I do have a fairly similar shirt though. I uh, don't have that one. I would like all these things. A range of T-shirts featuring Zero X and Sigma. The backgrounds feature text from iconic scenes in Mega Man X. But I can't read it because it's so far away. The fucking image is too far away. Oh, okay. Now we're getting to soundtracks here. I actually have some of these. 
Uh, do not have the original Mega Man X one, the hyper instrumental album directed by Capcom sound team riffing on classic Mega Man X themes out of production, so it looks like I'm not getting it. I do have this though, the Capcom Music Generation Mega Man X 1 to 6. So it's all uh, all of the first uh, six games and it's, it's huge, man. I should take a photo of it. Um, special edition box featuring multiple music discs with unique illustrations throughout the, the packaging. Cost a fucking pretty penny too. I don't have this either. It's just the X7 original soundtrack. Uh, features the game's much-loved ending theme as well. Out of production as in 2018. Uh, this one's out of production as well, but thank God I have it. Uh, this is the X8 original soundtrack. I guess we'll be hearing that next week. Uh, original soundtrack for Mega Man X8. Bursting with the high-octane heavy metal sounds of the game. Out of production as in 2018. Uh. Mega Man X sound box. I... I don't have this, but I know of it. It contains, contains 498 tracks from the entire Mega Man X series, with a booklet featuring notes from the creators and original il illustrations. Oh, and here's the Legacy Collection soundtrack. I should get this, because at least it's in print. This is too, apparently, so I should get it. Uh, a soundtrack album consisting of remix tracks from throughout the series, plus new tracks written for Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 and 2, like the song you're listening to now. Look at that, you got Alia with the fucking microphone, you got the tambourine, uh, me tool, uh, X and Zero with the guitars, and I guess Axel's on vocals, oh dear, I'm not happy about that. But I guess it's X8 rendition, because Alia's let her head, hair down, so maybe Axel will be an okay singer, I guess. But yes, I should get this, I should fucking get this, but everything about that picture I just love. And that's it for soundtracks. Um, books. We've got, uh, a few books. Let's say, uh, we got, ah, there we go, Mega Man X Super Compilation. All you ever wanted to know about power-ups features the details of 24 special weapons and all manner of enemies from bosses to metals. Misspelt. For some reason, metals has two L's. Is it supposed to? I don't think so. Bosses to metals. I thought metals in X. I thought the metals were only in, like, the ZX series. I'm confused. I don't know. Bosses to metals. I don't know what you're on about there. Oh well. Anyway, uh, Mega Man X Encyclopedia. An in-depth look, in depth look into series enemies, sub bosses, weapons, armor, ride armors, and X and Zero's backgrounds. Out of production as of 2018. Can I get this one? No, no, I can't. All right. Looks like it's Japanese only. Anyway, I wouldn't be able to read it. Is that one? Oh, that one too. So I probably wouldn't be able to read that either. Uh, we got the comic, the Rockman X comic. I guess this is where they made the special. Um, uh, the special, uh, this is the comic book where they had the special action figure in, I guess. First installment of the Mega Man X comic by Yoshiro Iwamoto, originally published monthly in Comic Bomb Bomb. And apparently you can still get it. Can't get that one, though. Um, you can still get this, too. And there's the, uh, the X to one second installment of the Mega Man X comic. It's all good. And there's Mega Man X 3, 1? Okay. Oh, it's it's the X3 comic, and this is the first issue of it. Okay, yeah, that this, I was confused for a second. I was like, wait, you're going backwards now? What's going on? Mega Man X3 2, there's the second one. Um, fourth installment. So it looks like they split X3 up into several di different issues here. Uh, X4, the fifth installment, and it looks like it's just all of X4. And then we got uh, Mega Man X the novel, Maverick Report. And X is crying for some reason. I didn't know he could do that. The first, uh, first ever full-length Mega Man X novel based on the events of the comic series, reinterpreted by Yoshi again, and Tsubasa Todoro Todoro uh, Todoroki, okay. I don't know what, who these people are, but still, they do things. That's it for books, um, and that's it for products, I guess. I don't know if they have the same, uh, ones across all of the series. I think, I think this is, these are the same, the product galleries. I think all the galleries are the same for um, both Legacy collections, so we might not even have to revisit that. Uh, the gallery, certainly, though, because um, it's only got the ones in this particular collection. That's all right. We will check all these things. You can watch the Day of Sigma in either one of them, even if you don't have the first game, which kind of makes sense if you only see in the first game, but still. Uh, there's trailers. Might have a look at those later, and music player and all that, but um, I guess we're done. Yes, it's 4.56, so that's why we're making good time. Okay, let's get out of this game. There we go. Boom. So there you go. We did Mega Man X, X7. We did a thing. Alrighty. Uh, where's my music's at? There we go. I got a thing. There we go. Fantastic. 
Beautiful. Good stuff indeed. So, there you have it. I'm really glad I split these last two games up into their own streams because... My god. My god. My brain has officially left the building. <laughs> Oh, yes, indeed. Well, yep, there you go. We finished that one. No 13-hour stream this time around, but fuck me. Fuck me. If I decided to do X8 as well, it would have been a fucking nightmare. So, um, because we got the extra... We got one more Monday in May, so I guess we won't be doing Metroid May this time around, but that's all right. That's okay. We'll have the chance to do it again uh, at a later date, I guess. Um, so yeah, Mega Man X May running all through May, by the look of it. Um... But yeah, there we go. All right, let's see who we're hosting today, if anyone. There's usually someone to host. I don't think I've ever not hosted anyone, even if it's like Food or Bob Ross. <laughs> it's, it's, I could always host somebody. Ross. <laughs> it's, it's, I could always host somebody. Oh, there's me again. Okay, let's see who's doing a thing. Um, I want to thank you all for joining me for uh, the absolute worst of this series and helping me through it because Oh god, without you guys, I would not be anywhere near as, uh, as, uh, as, as palatable, I guess? I mean, I mean you, you guys, uh, kept me entertained throughout this nightmare of a game. At least it's all uphill again from here. X8, not amazing, but better than X6. Probably even better, uh, better than X7. Probably even better than X6, too, at that. Who are we gonna host? Oh, you know what? Wolf is live. He's got 23 viewers. Let's boost that number up a little bit. So, yeah, we're gonna host him. Stick around for that. That would just be great. Um... In fact, I'll just load up his channel right now, just so I don't have to wait for this shit. Looks like he's doing some, let's see, he's doing... Oh, he's back to the Xbox Live and Reloaded saga. What's he playing? He's playing through every single Xbox original game. It looks like he's doing Ed, Ed and Eddie. I don't know what it is. Ed, Ed and Eddie, The Misadventures. Okay, well, that might be interesting, so we'll go and check that out after the stream. But there you have it. Holy shit, we got through Mega Man X7, and I didn't have an aneurysm. I don't know how that happened, but it worked. It worked out in the end. So, uh, next week is going to be the last of Mega Man X May. Uh, you'll definitely want to tune in for that one, though, because we're going to be doing X8, as well as maybe some um, uh, X Challenge as well. Hopefully we'll do a bit of that. At least one round, I know, we'll see. And uh, maybe if, if we've got some time left over from that even, we'll uh, have a look at some uh, some more gallery things. Um, but at any rate, it, it's uh, that's Mega Man X, X7 done and dusted. So thank you very much for joining me, everybody, and helping me get through this disaster. Uh, I've been me, you've been you. I hope you've enjoyed the Mega Man X7s. And indeed, I stay cozy, and I'll see you when I next see you. So until then, be sure to stay Mega Man.
boy, ba.